Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows Media Player 11 onto Windows 7. Now, I've seen a lot of tutorials about on the uh, internet and this is one of the main ones. As you can see, follow these steps and it's a bit long winded. As you can see, it's asking you to download this, which you will need. But it also says go into services, disable this, stop that, take ownership of this and so on and so on. Go into the registry, delete this file. I'll show you a quick way of doing it. What you need to do really is go to Start Control Panel, then come down to Programs and Features, then turn Windows Features on or off. Once you've done that, come down to Media Features, take the tick out of Windows Media Player, say Yes, and it will take you out of Windows Media Center. Click OK it will do its thing it takes a bit of time and it's just uninstalling it first I'll pause the video at this stage ok so that's need done now it's a bit of a delay and then it does it really quickly ok it's now asking me to restart which will say yes restart now I'll let this restart As you can see, it's doing its uh, configuring. Okay, we'll let this restart now. It's just starting to reboot. Okay, so it's just preparing its uh, to configure Windows now. So we'll just let that do its thing. It's because we took the ticket out there. Once this finishes, we'll be able to boot up and install. Windows Media Player 11. Now you can't use the official Windows Media Player 11 because it won't install, it'll just say uh, error. Ok, we're now we're on the desktop. Now we just get our Windows Media Player 11 uh, setup file which is geared up for Windows 7, double click on this, say yes, and this will open up a box. Now, before I do that, let me just quickly show you what's happened. Let's go to C drive and go to program files, Windows Media Player. You'll see a lot of it's been uninstalled. So, what we need to do here now is go next next again and then install let that install that ok so that's now done that, click OK click again ok once I restart the computer so the first thing I want to do first, just want to go to regedit here. So just type regedit. I will do the actual regedit just uh, to make sure it does work. And open up this uh, window here, local machine, and then we want software, then Microsoft. The media player, just pull that back, skip media player, there we go, media player and then set up and then we want this one and we need to delete either that folder or that string there, ok, I'm just going to delete this. Close it off and then restart. Okay, let that start up. Got a welcome screen asset, so we're all loaded in now. And we should have Windows Media Player 11 on there now, so let's have a little check. 
So we just go to my computer, C drive, program files, and go to media player there. And as you can see, Windows Media Player 11 is installed. Quick and painlessly, let's just uh, send this to desktop shortcut, like so. If you want to now, you can actually pin this onto your new window there, shut that off. So now we click on this, and we have our Windows Media Player 11. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please remember hit the subscribe button and uh, share your support. And also, if you want to get yourself over to the forum, by all means, get yourself over there, register your account. It's free to register. Got any problems? Uh, stick them on here, and I'll do our best to answer your problems for you. Okay, so thanks again, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.